A woman can feel sexually attracted to you, want to have sex with you, have sex with you, and get into a relationship with you even if she doesn't like certain things about you. Additionally, that can even happen if she looks at you and doesn't like what she sees, or talks to you and doesn't like some of the things that she's hearing. All right, so what a lot of guys don't understand is that there's a big difference between a woman liking them and feeling attracted to them. All right, so if a woman likes you, that's more about her conscious preferences. And if she feels attracted to you, it's about her instincts. Attraction is an instinctive reaction, whereas liking someone is a conscious preference, right? So she may consciously think, okay, I like a guy who listens. I like a guy who has a nice hairstyle. I like a guy who wears a nice shirt. I like a guy who has nice manners and so forth. Depending on where she's from, what culture she is from, how she's being raised, there are certain things that she thinks she likes and that she will only accept. But then, if she interacts with a guy who makes her feel sexually attracted by displaying the traits that actually trigger that, then in many cases, most of what she thought a guy would have to have in order for her to want to be with him just gets thrown out the window. And she likes that guy. This is why you'll see women have an unexpected desire for a guy who is bald when she hasn't necessarily gone through her life saying, oh, I want a guy who has no hair. Or she has an unexpected desire for a guy who's a bit of a nerd when she hasn't been going through her life saying, I like guys who are nerdy, right? I want a guy who's a total dork, right? She hasn't gone through life saying that, but then she interacts with a guy who's a bit of a nerd and he makes her feel attracted by displaying the traits that trigger her instinctive feeling of attraction, which is different to her conscious decisions and thoughts and preferences of, I want a guy who looks like a male model. I want a guy who's six foot or taller. I want a guy who wears the latest fashions. Then she interacts with a guy who's not even wearing the latest fashions. He's just wearing whatever, but he has this confidence about him. He has this emotional masculinity about him. He has a charm. He has a charisma. He talks to her and she feels turned on by him. And she's thinking, what's going on here? I really like this guy. And she has an unexpected desire for him. And if he then knows how to move things forward, he can have sex with her. He can have a relationship with her. And as a personal example, when I used to go out to bars and clubs to meet women so I could have sex that weekend or get myself another woman to have on the uh, rotation, right, on the quote-unquote roster, because I was going through a bit of a playboy phase at that time. When I used to go out to bars and clubs, I was not the sort of guy that made women go, whoa, who's that guy? I want to be with him. All right, where I'm from in Australia, right, it's a mixed race country where, you know, I've got Irish DNA, and there's a fair few people with English DNA and so forth, but there's also Russian people and Eastern European people who tend to be much better looking physically than an Irishman like myself. Both of my parents are born in Ireland, right? So I'm not the sort of guy that women go, whoa, I want to be with that guy. They're looking at the guys who have the male model sort of traits. So whether that guy be an Indian guy who has the male model looking traits or he's an Asian guy or an Eastern European guy or he's an Irish guy or an English guy and so forth, the guys that have those male model looking traits and who are tall, right, I'm 5'9 in terms of height, but the guys who are tall, those are the ones that women are typically looking at. Yet here's the thing, when I decided that I wanted to walk over and talk to a woman and I started a conversation with her with the sort of confidence that I learned how to display, she then felt an unexpected desire for me because it's like, hang on a second, how is this guy so confident? And oh, he's got some charm and he's got some charisma. And oh, hang on a second. Now I'm making her laugh, right? Now I'm flirting with her. I'm not trying to just get along with her and just be a nice friend and just have a nice conversation. I'm letting her experience some of my masculinity, which is then making her feel feminine in comparison to me. And then she's thinking, what's going on here? Right? She has an unexpected desire for me. So where a lot of guys go wrong is that they think that they've got to try to get a woman to like everything about them. So they'll have a conversation with her and they're trying to say all the right things, right? I better not say anything that she doesn't like because then she won't want to be with me. I better try to find out everything that we have in common. So then she likes me as a person and I better do this and I better do that. 
And as a result, he ends up having the false belief that he needs to be perfect in order to get a girl. He needs to jump through so many hoops and basically pass the most difficult obstacle course in human history in order to get into her panties and be the guy who gets to be her boyfriend. Yet, what you will have seen in your life and you may have seen it at school or university, if you went to university or in a work environment, is that sometimes you will have seen a guy starts interacting with a woman and you might think to yourself, that guy's not even a good guy, right? I'm a better guy than him. I'm smarter than him. I have better intentions with that girl, right? He's a bit of a prick, that guy. What does she see in him? What's going on? Right? How can she be so attracted to him when he's not even as good of a person as I am? Right? And some guys get confused about that because they think that in order to get a woman to have sex with them or start a sexual relationship that then becomes boyfriend and girlfriend, they've got to be totally likable. Right? They've got to just be the most likable guy that she's ever met because he's heard. Women say, oh, guys are such pricks. Men are pricks. Men just want one thing. Oh, men this, men that, and so forth. So he thinks, okay, I'll show women. I'll show them that I'm a good guy. I've just got great intentions with them. I just want to have a nice chat, get along with them. I'm going to find out things in common, have a nice conversation with her, and maybe you'll get to the point where he gets to kiss her and so forth. But while that can sometimes result in a guy getting sex or getting a girlfriend, it's a very slow way to do it, and it's a very rejection-prone way to do it because the woman is essentially feeling like she's talking to a nice friend or a nice guy. She doesn't really have that instinctive sexual attraction, that desire to want to just jump on him. Now, some guys might be thinking about something I mentioned earlier about that guy. He's not even a good guy. And some guys might be thinking, well, hang on, does that mean I have to be a bad guy, a bad person in order to be attractive to women? Well, I think you'll know the answer to that if you think about it, which is that if it was required that a man be a bad guy, a bad person in order to attract women, then men would know that and they'd be competing on who can be the worst guy, who can be the most selfish, the most aggressive, the most toxic guy that they could be in order to get the girl to be like, I'm worse than you, no, no, I'm worse, and so on, right? So it's not that. You don't have to be a bad person in order to attract women, but... Sometimes a woman will get with a guy who's a bad person, even though she doesn't even like certain things about him. And the reason why is that sexual attraction is much more important. And a way to help you understand it is that most men that I've asked in terms of what sort of woman they want have said friendly, intelligent, easygoing, and down to earth. Right? That's what most guys say. Yet the reality is that most guys, even if they say that, will then find themselves feeling attracted to a woman who doesn't have those qualities. Right? He'll be looking at her and thinking, I want to have sex with her. I wish I could get with her. I wish she would like a guy like me. And she doesn't have the friendly, easygoing qualities. And sometimes she might be intelligent or sometimes she isn't. And sometimes she's not easygoing and down to earth. Sometimes she's a bit of a snob. Sometimes she's a bit stuck up, right? And sometimes she's a bit of a handful, a bit of a difficult woman to deal with. But he's looking at her going, oh, I just want to get with her. I want her. I wish she would like me. I wish I could be her boyfriend. You know, I'd treat her well and so forth. Because you can feel attracted to a woman and not like certain things about her. And that attraction then starts to override how you normally think. So you start saying, well, look, she isn't necessarily the nicest woman or she isn't necessarily the most intelligent woman or she isn't necessarily the most down-to-earth woman, but damn, I want that girl. Additionally, it's important to understand that a man's attraction for a woman works differently to a woman's attraction for a man. So for example, you can see a woman's cleavage and it's just there on display and you can instantly start to feel like, yeah, and you want to have sex with her, it's like, yes, I'd like to get those out there, right? I'd love to be having sex with her and grabbing those and so forth, right? You can instantly have that feeling, even though you don't even like who she is as a person. Additionally, you can look at a woman's legs or even just the way that she's walking and be going, yeah, you know, and, and want to have sex with her based on that. But you got to understand that women are different, right? We men obviously don't have cleavage and our legs aren't something that women go, whoa, look at those legs. Look at the hair on the legs. Whoa, right? Obviously, women don't react to us in that way. So 
What are they reacting to? What's so powerful? What switches on that instinctive feeling of attraction inside of a woman where she wants to jump on you? What is it? Well, the thing is, although women can feel attracted to a man's physical appearance, that isn't the thing that makes women feel an unexpected desire. That isn't the thing that makes women go for guys that you might look at and think, well, hang on, what is she doing with him? That doesn't seem to make sense. Shouldn't she be with a guy who's six foot and looks like a model? Isn't that what all women want? How could she feel attracted to him? What's going on? Well, the thing is, the way that it works is that some women are easier to attract than others. Right? And sometimes all you really need to display is a bit of confidence when you're interacting with a woman and she feels enough attraction for you to be interested. And if you then know what to say and do to move things forward, you do that and you get laid or get a girlfriend. But sometimes you'll be interacting with a woman who needs a bit more than just confidence. Right? So a guy's in a social situation and she notices that no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says, he remains confident and she feels attracted to that. She feels like, well, this guy is quite strong. But if she then notices that he doesn't seem to be able to get along with other people and for her, a guy having some social intelligence, some social charm and charisma is important, then she's like, okay, he's confident, he's strong, but no. I'm not interested because she doesn't want a guy who's not able to get along with other people in social situations and tends to be the one who is left out. And yes, he remains confident, but he creates a feeling of awkwardness because he can't get along with other people. Now, if the same guy with the same physical appearance was able to develop his ability to be more socially charming, to be more able to get along with others, and she saw him being confident in the social situation and she saw him getting along with others, then she really starts to feel attracted to him. And she may not like everything about him, but if he then is able to keep the conversation going with her and add in some humor that makes her feel attracted or add in some flirting that makes her feel attracted or add in some displays of emotional masculinity that makes her feel attracted, then her attraction is going to increase. And if he then knows what to say and do to get her number or to move him for a kiss or to get her to come home and have sex with him that night or to set up a date if he doesn't want to do it that quickly, then he will usually get the result. He will usually get laid or get a girlfriend. So I want you to understand that you don't have to be Mr. Perfect in order to attract women so you can get laid or get a girlfriend. If you're able to make women feel enough attraction for you, or a lot of attraction for you when you're interacting with them, in many cases, they will just throw out all the things that they said were absolutely essential in order to get with them. Now, that doesn't mean that you can pick up any woman in the world, because sometimes you'll come across a woman who has a very specific list of things that she wants. For example, she may say that she's only going to get with a ball player, or she's only going to get with a celebrity, or she's only going to get with this sort of guy or that sort of guy. And those sort of women do exist where they are extremely picky and they try very hard to stick with that. But the majority of women have what I call an open type. And that means that they are open to being with different types of guys as long as the guy can make them feel enough attraction for them to then be interested and then the guy knows how to move it forward. And when you're able to do that, you unlock your choice with women. And at that point, you can either begin to enjoy your choice of women and have sex with lots of women, or if you want to settle down, you pick the right girl for you and settle down. Right? You have your choice like that, rather than hoping that one day a woman's going to like you enough to give you a chance. No, you don't have to do that. You can make her feel the instinctive feeling of attraction. It's an instinctive reaction to the display of certain personality traits and behaviors. And if you know how to do that, you simply are attractive to women. They feel attracted to you as an instinctive reaction. It's not something that they can turn off. Just like you can't turn off your instinctive reaction when you see cleavage. It just happens automatically. Obviously, we men don't have cleavage, but what we do have, it's something that really can't be seen, right? A woman's cleavage can be seen, but your confidence, your emotional masculinity, your charm, your charisma, those things are somewhat invisible to the human eye, right? They are invisible, but it's something that women notice. It's something that women react to. It's an instinctive reaction that they have. And when you know how to do it, women feel attracted to you. It's as simple as that.